and we all agree we're not going through the the funkiest time ever but it's nice to by the end see that we're still able to do um, what we like to do Hello, my name is uh, Eric Kessels. I'm an artist from uh, Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, I'd like to talk today a little bit about a project I did uh, last year, 2020, with uh, Thomas Sauvin. He's an artist from uh, Paris. Uh, both of us, we work with uh, kind of uh, found imagery and, and reappropriate them. And uh, both of us have quite an archive in this. And uh, last year, when the uh, world came to kind of to a standstill of course both of us uh, also were in our homes and um, not doing what we normally did because normally we collaborate in uh, together in festivals we see many people that have kind of the same uh, interests and the same fascinations and obsessions but this uh, stopped at that moment so um, yeah, like I, I started this project by, by sending Thomas one of my images, which is uh, this one, like a car, which is kind of in, in parts falling, to, falling out in parts. Uh, and uh, I just asked him to respond to, to this with, a, uh, with an image from his uh, archive or from his uh, collection, which he did. And uh, yeah, this resulted in kind of a wordless dialogue of uh, uh, maybe a few months where in total uh, uh, per person, we send it uh, 60 uh, images to each other, uh, but just uh, reacting on the previous image that someone, someone has sent. And um, yeah, I, th I think uh, this is also very important uh, to, for us at least to keep doing this because it, it kept us uh, ourselves also uh, fresh and and uh, and and it was also a way like uh, in the end it was never the idea to make a publication but for us it was a, a very nice game and uh, with the book we we just uh, yeah like to people to play the same game so in in total there are 120 images in there in the book they are in order but you can uh, kind of uh, take the images out, out of the book, and then uh, kind of play the game yourself. So everybody gets uh, 60 cards, and then you can see if you can reconstruct uh, in a way or a conversation. So my name is Thomas Sauvin. Um, I'm now based in Paris, but I spent about 12 years in China where I built a, a collection of uh, found photography. This is a passion I share with um, Eric Kessels. And at the very beginning of the lockdown in 2020, Eric wrote an email to me saying, I'm getting bored out of my head, must be the same for you. Maybe nice in this boring time to start an estafette with images together. I send you an image and you react on it with an image, no words. We did that for about one month and a half and ended up with a visual dialogue of 120 photos, 60 from Eric's collection and 60 from my collection. Um, dialogue with found photographs from the East and from the West. The link between the images can be um, there can be many reasons. It can be the theme, it can be a color, it can be something that appears in the in the photo, it can be the reason why this type of photo exists. You know, with our collection, we both um, witnessed a lot of photographic practices and uh, we and we realized that humans have a, a lot of shared habits. As the result, uh, these images can talk to each other in, in quite, a, quite a smooth way. Well, no, it, it, it actually felt quite natural to do this. We, everything was cancelled, the photo fairs, the, the festivals, uh, the exhibition we could have, the travels, uh, and um, 
we like to collaborate. We like to do things together. We're part of a, um, a community, right? And at that time, we couldn't travel. We couldn't do the things we used to do. So it felt like it was the right time to actually engage uh, a long distance conversation. Uh, that's something we, we started before in a way with Eric sending each other photos and, and doing this kind of ping pong. But that was the right time because we were locked, uh, and him in Amsterdam, me in the countryside in France, and we just had a lot of time and the digital version of our archives and eventually our minds. So we started exchanging things. And um, yeah, it's interesting to notice that this book is actually a, a collaboration with many people in many countries. And uh, it was all made with distance. First of all, Eric and I had this visual conversation via email over a period of one month and a half. Once this was done, the selection of 120 photos were given to uh, Atelier Edition, uh, a publisher based in Canada. This publisher works with a designer who is based in Germany. And this designer with the publisher decided to print the book in Italy. So all, all, all that happened without any of us actually meet, physically meeting at, uh, at any time. Well, to try and answer that question simply, I would say that um, now we're all completely submerged by images every day, everywhere. And um, I believe as collectors and artists, Eric and I uh, don't really find an interest in, in creating new images, but what we try to do is rather to sort through photographs that already exist in the world and make them visible in a, in a different way by actually providing them with, the, with a new context. And photo books just feel like the perfect tool to achieve that. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, yeah, I think uh, uh, about uh, publishing, I think it's quite uh, important uh, nowadays that there is quite a lot of uh, independent publishing uh, going around and especially for creative people and for visual people and for uh, a lot of uh, people from different creative uh, backgrounds, I think it's very important to uh, print things again. I mean, most of the stuff we're doing is anyway online, but uh, the printed matter nowadays becomes something very interesting, I think. Uh, also, the, the tactility of it and the fact that you can hold it, you can smell it. And uh, I think that publications also uh, you know, have nowadays the shape of a, of a personal portfolio. In a way, you have that also online. But uh, offline, this could be always in the shape of a, of a publication, of an artist book. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I can only uh, challenge that uh, because uh, this, this is something, uh, uh, something very uh, important, I think, uh, to communicate and also to express your uh, intentions in your work. Uh, again, a lot of things uh, play a role in this, like uh, how do I make the book? What kind of paper uh, do I use? What is the design of the book? And what is kind of the intention of my work? And how can that work the best uh, in a book? Uh, 